Did I just search through the internet to find the last remaining Louis Tomlinson ticket that I could find, which is in Oslo? And did I buy four flights and two hotel rooms just to get there? Hey guys, so I literally just got into my hotel. I just landed in Bucharest. It was one of those flights where I did think I was gonna crash multiple times. You know when you're in like an amusement park and they have these fall towers? That's precisely what happened about five times. People were holding on to their seats, praying that person was me. That was me. I'm gonna be showing you guys my first hotel room now. So we come in and then we have this cute and simple bathroom, this huge mirror, which I love, this very romantic vibe going on. I'm here all by myself. I don't know what, what in the red room this is, but it's cute. I love it. I did find out that there is a gym on my floor and that it is open 24 seven. I think the exact wording was, how long is your uh, gym open? Whenever. So I love that. That was a very cute interaction. He also gave me some Oreos. I will now head down to the restaurant. Just acquired some tomato soup and chamomile tea. I did want to go to the gym, but I already went on a run today and I'm kind of exhausted from traveling. Right now my body just kind of needs to rest. Good night. Hello, hello. It is the next day, although I'm wearing the same outfit. I only packed about three. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't wanna hear it. This morning, I got up at about eight, went down to breakfast. The buffet wasn't amazing, but guys, I came prepared. Guys, guys, how long have we known each other? I came prepared. I prepared myself some oatmeal cookies before I came. They're basically just the oatmeal I eat in the morning, but in cookie form. If you guys are interested, I will show you guys how I prepare them. They're done in like 10 minutes. Rice cakes, peanut butter, <laughs> mango, pear, kiwi, carrots and the seed mix, just so I can add that to my yogurt. Gotta be ready for it, dude. You gotta. I also read a little bit and then I headed to the gym for a quick session. I have the whole gym to myself. I did like a 20 minute run, five to 10 minute walk on incline, abs and yoga. Then I showered, got ready, did my bed, which is super important to me because even if my day hasn't been super productive or I feel like I haven't done a lot, at least I made my bed in the morning. And that's something. And now I'm about to call an Uber so I can still see the city before it gets dark. Let's go! So my Uber driver just let me out. I have no idea where I am, but I will find some sort of city center, I guess, I hope. This is where I am right now. Um, I'm kind of looking for like a main road or like a main shopping strip just so I can get an idea of Bucharest, but I have no idea where I am. So apparently the like main shopping street is still like a 20 minute walk from here. All right, I think this is it. Just found this really pretty bookstore. Bookstores are honestly like a place I just love to be in. It's so calming and I could honestly stay in here for hours. Selfie urban mare, cute. I just went on another 30 minute walk just to get back where I came from um, because apparently I was right all along. I think I found a pretty solid street. I just bought myself some bananas, blueberries, and a lemon from this healthy store just because I have to get up at around like 3 a.m. We'll be able to make breakfast, so we gotta add to my supply. I ended up getting this fresh falafel bowl and this raw juice. Hello. Ooh. Hi, good evening. Is it possible to get an airport shuttle at 4.30 a.m.? Thank you, bye. So it is 11 p.m. I got home a little while ago. I didn't end up going into any shops. I just kind of walked around for hours on end. My Uber driver was not the best person ever. Will I still rate him five stars? Absolutely. Kill him with kindness, guys. So I'm gonna go pack my stuff and then go to bed because I'm exhausted. Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is now 4 a.m. I just got ready, did my bed. Let's head to Oslo. So I arrived. Alrighty, hotel tour. So this is my 
beautiful hotel room. Here is Oslo! This is the first I've seen of Oslo and it just got me so hyped. And here is my humble bathroom. It just kind of hit me that I'm in Oslo and that I'm about to see Louis tomorrow. I'm literally right next to the place he's playing at. I just saw like a bunch of girls in the lobby wearing like Louis hoodies and just, it just got me so excited. I haven't seen this boy since 2015 at the One Direction concert in Dubai. Best day of my life still. Was that seven years ago? Seven? I don't know what to say. I'm just really excited and really happy. Although I'm exhausted, I'm gonna go out into the city right now and just see what's up in Oslo. I see if I can find some dinner. Concerts tomorrow. I just got back from the city. From what I've seen, Oslo is absolutely beautiful. I had some dinner, I had like a Buddha bowl with tofu and edamame, broccoli, I love me some broccoli, kimchi and red onions and some hummus. And then I had some matcha with oat milk. I love organic matcha. I hate when it's like sweetened. So that was great. And since my hotel is like right next to where Louis will be playing at the Oslo Spectrum, people opened like a pit singing One Direction songs. If you guys came up to me, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love when you guys come up to me. But that just got me so hyped for the concert tomorrow. Now I'll probably check out the gym, do a little session there. And then I have to shower, wash my hair, do the whole nine yards. Because I have a shoot tomorrow, which I will also be vlogging. And then I have another shoot the day after. So I'm going to do like a combined vlog. Um, stay tuned for that. Guys, I'm a YouTuber now. I need you to understand that. Are we on the same page? Good morning! I just had breakfast and the breakfast options were absolutely amazing. I didn't even have to bring my supplies down, guys. Beautiful. Of course, I got myself some porridge with mashed banana, pumpkin seeds, hazelnut, chia seeds, raisins, and peanut butter. Also some scrambled eggs, veggies, fruits, and of course my lemon water. And now I'm about to head to the gym for a quick yoga session before my shoot today. I'm gonna start getting ready now and I thought I'd show you guys how I do my makeup for the concert. Let's go. I don't use foundation, so I'm just gonna go in with a CoverGirl concealer stick as well as my liquid camouflage high coverage concealer from Catrice. This traveling has got me breaking out. Then I'm gonna use my Sephora translucent setting powder and then I just dust it off. I don't use a lot of this because I still like being quite glowy. For my eyebrows, I usually just brush them. If it's really necessary, I go in with a brow pen just around the arch. And then I brush it out so it looks as natural as possible. Then I curl my lashes. I brush them out. And then for eyeshadow, I use the Avani Greg palette almost every single time. As you can probably tell, it's really messy. Today, I'm gonna use Chunkin's Coffee. I also blend that down to my lower lash line. And then I just use whatever light and shiny eyeshadow I can. For eyeliner, I use Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. I just do a quick little line and then pull it in. If it's uneven or messy, that's not a problem. I'm just gonna go in with this angled brush and a black eyeshadow. And just dab on them haters, dude. It kind of gives me this cute smoky effect too. And it also makes sure that the eyeliner stays on longer. Lash Sensational Maybelline New York full fan effect. We do not gatekeep around here. My secret weapon is bottom mascara. It makes my eyes appear so much bigger than they actually are. Can you guys tell that I used to want to be a makeup guru? For my falsies, I already cut up my Ardell Duo Lash Glue. And a pair of tweezers. I'm glad this is not in focus because it looks absolutely nasty. And now we let it dry right at the ends of my lash line. Sometimes it glues onto my lowered and I don't know why it does that. It's kind of rude. Oh my god, it's literally stuck to the tweezers. <laughs> my bronzer ran out, so I'm just gonna use some sparkly eyeshadow. For blush, I just use some lipstick. 
For lips, I use Vaseline and Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is not sharpened. All right, guys, I am ready to go to the concert. Here is my makeup and uh, here is my outfit. So I'm just wearing the sweater that reminds me of the sweater that Louis has that I bought in Budapest. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the reason I got this sweater was because there's a picture of Louis wearing a hoodie similar to this. It just kind of reminded me of it. I love this boy. I'm wearing the pants that I bought in Budapest. Converse and rainbow socks. Uh, I'm gonna see Louis now. <laughs> love you guys. I switched to my phone camera. Some lovely ladies I just met gave me this flag. So we are all set. Thank you so much, honestly. It means the world to us. Someone's dressed as a carrot. Let me start off by saying a massive, massive thank you to every single person in here. Okay, right. This is happening. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just got back home from the concert and I don't know how to deal with my life right now. It was insane. And guys, I saw Louis again. Oh my god, I'm like. I'm in a shock. I would cry, but I'm like full of adrenaline right now. If I met a few of you guys, I jammed out with you guys. It was lovely. I'm just honestly so fulfilled right now. I screamed my heart out. Also, can we talk about the fact that he played Fearless and Copy of a Copy of a Copy and Little Black Dress and Through the Dark. For Only the Brave, we planned like this little thing that the lights will be rainbow so every seating section had like their own color of the rainbow and the people like standing had to like do something colorful i had my little rainbow flag and it was beautiful but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey um on this very spontaneous trip we've come full circle <laughs> uh i wish you guys were all there with me i love you guys stay fearless